Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in this video we're going to be doing a quick summary of chapter 7 in Jane Eyre. So in this chapter Jane is just continuing to kind of get to know the ropes at Lowood School and we just kind of continue to hear just how terrible things are at this school, how poorly the girls there are provided for. Um, no one really gets enough to eat ever. Um, they're always cold because their clothes are uh, menial and and like the the girl's health is even just like not okay and not just you know you you think about how some when you're cold you get a cold but like these girls are getting sores on their hands and feet um, because of the conditions they're living in. And sadly, this chapter also talks about how the little girls suffer the most because the older ones tend to steal their food or crowd them out away from the fire. And it's, I personally find it really sad thinking about this situation because, you know, the older girls. They were once the little ones who were not getting enough food and they've survived to this point. They're just I, I need food, I need warmth. Um, and it kind of just creates this sad, sad like competitive nature. and um, Obviously not to the level of Lord of the Flies, but, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's very sad I find. Um, but of course, Jane, is not one of the older girls who um, is in that survival mode. Um, she does share her food with some of the younger girls who are generally starving. And so Jane is going through all this and it's been a few weeks and Mr. Brockhurst comes to the school. And him being there just makes things that much, feel that much worse for Jane. Um, when he gets there, he, well, first he goes through this ridiculous thing about how the girls, like the students there are just like being too, uh, too free. Um, he cuts off this one girl's braids or he makes someone do it. I can't remember if he does it or someone else does. And he's upset that Miss Temple gave the girls an additional meal um, a couple of times because their breakfast had been burnt and so they couldn't eat. And anyway, he is so stingy with the money. Um, he doesn't care that the girls are, I mean, beyond the point of being humbled, they are they are being abused, basically, because his... Um, what he's allowing to be spent on this school is so little. And the, the ridiculous part of this is that then his wife and daughters come in and they come in in the most lavish dresses with expensive fabric and they've got beautiful curls um, and their hair is all done up fancily and and it's just this ridiculous juxtaposition of the wealth he allows his wife and daughters to be in and then what he subjects these girls at the school to be in because they need to be taught humility. Um, and so, so yeah, he is ridiculous and harsh and just a downright idiot. Um, with, you know, these double standards he has for the girls at the school. And then he, he does eventually single Jane out and he tells the entire school um, that she is a liar and that she needs to be shunned and, um, you know, for her own sake, for her own soul, she needs to be shunned because she's a liar and she needs to be taught to not be that way. Oh, and he noticed Jane because she dropped... She dropped like one of her little boards that they um, 
would like take notes on or do lessons on. And anyway, Mr. Brocklehurst is just very self-righteous and self-assured um, and, you know, happy that he's done this to Jane and Jane has to um, stand. So he tells everyone to shun her um, and he ha makes her wear this sign that's saying basically that she's a liar and she has to stand on this stool for the rest of the day. Um, and her friend Helen, she does find a way a couple times that day to pass by her and smile at her. And um, as we'll later find out, this does kind of, it doesn't have the effect Miss Little Brocklehurst wanted it to. Um, you know, think of, think of that teacher that you maybe had that just a lot of people didn't like. And, you know, if they singled someone out as being bad, you didn't necessarily listen to that teacher. Um, if anything, you had compassion for that person and wanted to, like, console them, or at least you had a certain amount of respect for them for standing up to that just kind of cruel teacher. That That's Mr. Brocklehurst. So him telling everyone to shun her and look down on her gratefully does not have the effect he wanted it to. Um, though it is very hard for Jane that first day, as you can imagine. So that is chapter seven of Jane Eyre. Um, again, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for visiting. Thanks for watching. And I hope you come back for more. See you around.